We often have customers asking us how to set out points relative to a grid and particularly um, setting out points which are offset relative to that grid. So we can see here that we've got a fairly standard um, building grid, which is complicated by um, features that are on an angle. Um, and if these um, grid lines are all basically center of steel columns, and we need to check some bolt positions that are offset, we basically have two options. One is to calculate all these bolt positions in the office and load them onto the controller or the much more flexible option is to be able to offset relative to the grid at any point as required. So if we're doing this then we can focus on the nicely aligned grid first of all. So if we are looking at these column positions and if I was to select this point here and then a point on the same grid. And if I had a position that I needed to offset, which was a, a bolt position, then I can select these two points, which show me the origin and the direction. So the order is important. We select the point and then the direction. We long press, we choose stake out line. And I can now define, we see the arrow showing us the direction. I can now define the change and offset from that line. Um, and I can say that if we wanted to basically put in, check a bolt position that was say 200 mil behind this um, right angle grid line and offset at 200 mil, then we can say it's a minus 200 change with an offset of 200 and it's displayed on the controller before we do anything. So you can see here, we've put in minus 200 and positive 200 in the offset, and we can choose to start. And this is the point we're now staking out to. So as we walk closer to the um, position, so if I view move over to this position here, then we can see that it's now telling us the delta is relative to that offset position. And if I find that 200 offset, then we can see we're down to within four mil here. If I needed to go diametrically opposite, so say we needed to actually set out the bolt, the bolt position, which was positive 200 along that line and left 200, then we just choose escape and we put in the change as 200 mil and we put the offset either as minus 200 mil, or we can always just type in a 200 and flick it across to the left. And we can see now that it's telling us to go to this position here. Um, if it was halfway along this grid line, we would just escape out of what we're doing. We would deselect everything we've got selected by long pressing the screen and choosing clear selection. And then we can select, if this was the grid line we were working on, we'd select that one. We'd select our direction, long press the screen, and then we'd choose to stake out line and we put in our offsets relative to this line. The principle is exactly the same when we've got grids on an angle. So if I just clear the selection and we've, we've go to these angle grids, then if we wanted to put in some offsets relative to 604, then we just choose 604, we choose our direction, we long press, we choose to find uh, sorry, we choose stake out line and we put in our changes and offsets relative to 604. So this is not the only approach, but it's probably the easiest approach um, in staking out offsets relative to grid lines. It is the option, which I will not cover in this video, to select a single point, hit stake out, and choose to define an offset here, which can be defined as an offset angle and distance. Um, but generally, we feel this is the easiest approach for setting out relative to grid lines. Thank you.